Hi friends, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with the beginning of my Fantasy-a-thon reading vlog. Let's jump right into it. Today is Friday the 13th. It is December 13th, the start of Fantasy-a-thon, and I am well into my reading and really enjoying myself. It is 6.30 at night. I have been doing reading all day, both in audiobook in the car as well as physical reading in the car. And I've made a little bit of progress, so I'm going to update you. And my TBR has already changed. Who is surprised? Not me. I started reading Soul in Darkness by Wendy Higgins, who is an author I really enjoy. But this is one of her, like, indie pubbed books. This is not one of the ones that she published through her publisher. She publishes herself. And I actually got this signed and personalized through... Is it Good Choice Readings? I'm not really sure. Um, but this one is about Psyche, who is a mortal girl, but living in ancient Greek times. And she is betrothed to a creature of darkness. And I believe this follows her and Venus and Cupid. And I am here for it. I'm really enjoying it so far. It is angsty and pretty steamy without actually being explicit, which I'm here for right now, especially after my reading vlog for Santa stuff. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it up above. But um, I am 96 pages into this. I do expect that my updates for this will be a little bit more sporadic because this is a very long reading span. Like the readathon is two weeks, so I don't want to have a ton of footage to have to worry about. So my updates might be a little bit more varied. But so far, this is not too mythology heavy. It is giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes in a big, big way which I don't hate. And it's kind of generic. Like I could see why this wouldn't go traditional publishing, but it is fun. And then I am also reading Chain Breaker by Tara Sim. And I did not get to this for my last readathon, which means this is happening right now. I am physically reading this. I could not find the audiobook anymore. And I am 119 pages into this and loving it. I, I adore Colton. I adore Danny. I like the world. It's kind of like steampunky, historical London. I really enjoy it. And it's a book too, so I'm not going to say too much about it, but the stakes are high. Things are happening. I really enjoy it. And if you have not given Timekeeper a chance yet, give it a go because I really enjoy Tara Sims writing. So two authors who I know and who I really enjoy. I am enjoying both of these so far. I also have the NetGalley arc of Night Country by Melissa Albert, which is a sequel to The Hazelwood, which is right there. I am reading that. I am not very far into that, but that will be like my nook read for the span of the readathon. And then I also think that Hoopla has the audiobook of Call Down the Hawk, which I read the sampler for and enjoyed, so I may switch to that if I get through Soul and Darkness. Also really want to get to Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill, as well as Everyone's an Alien when you're an alien too. This one hopefully will happen. Um, hopefully all four of those will happen. We're gonna have to wait and see, but I think that they're short enough and easy to read and I have enough time that I should be able to get to everything. I'm saving those shorter ones for like rough days when I just need a boost. I just need to like bang something out, but I'm really invested in my other books that I'm reading right now. So things are going good. It is Sunday night. It's the 15th. So we are on, it started on the 12th or 13th? It started on the 13th, right? Started on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I have not really read that much. I want to. I want to be reading. I'm gonna read a little bit more of Chainbreaker right now, actually, but I have listened to no more of Soul and Darkness. Shocker. I had a really busy weekend with family, so I read Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill. Why I'm bringing in the graphic novels on the weekend when I have actually more time, who knows? I just haven't had very much time to read this weekend. So I got this done. Um, I went four stars with this one. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I like Katie O'Neill, but I don't think I've liked anything as much as the first one. This one is about ocean conservation, and I did actually really appreciate it. I just heard a lot of people that really, really loved it, and I didn't super, super love it. For whatever reason, it just didn't, it didn't connect with me quite as much. However, this thing, Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Jomney Sun. This one is about a little alien who comes to Earth because he's trying to research humans. He doesn't actually run into any humans. He runs into a whole bunch of animals, but they have very, very human problems. And it was very sweet and very, very cute. And uh, just goes over, 
like the trials and tribulations of being human and trying to figure out who you are and anxieties and fears and it was a really really precious i really enjoyed this one and then i started labyrinth coronation which is one of the labyrinth uh, graphic novels i did not get too far into that one 9 20 on monday morning and i am checking in because i did read a little tiny bit last night not as much as i wanted to i'm on page 181 now and i will say there are like little mechanical spiders in this book i don't love it no i don't love a spider also have been listening to a little bit more of soul and darkness by wendy higgins i'm now on page 160 and this has some serious smut like tis adult this is a sexy time book guys but i am enjoying it um but i'm also coming to you because i got a couple packages one is my book outlet order which is very small i did take advantage of the sales that they were having around thanksgiving but i didn't get too much but I also have an Amazon package here, which I'm assuming is a gift. So I wanted to open that as well. My book outlet order, which for the first time in ever, didn't even come in a box. Like it's in an, a bag, which was interesting. I didn't think it was book outlet, but it is. If something's on my Amazon wish list and I find it on book outlet, I go ahead and grab it. But I'm trying not to use it just to browse and get like any random. First up, I got Intercept It. This one is by Alexa Martin. Uh, Chelsea loves this. This is a football romance and i don't know a ton about it other than it's football wives or football girlfriends and there are companion novels to this and i think the third or fourth one is now coming out but this is a smutty smutty read i believe then i also picked up the flat share by beth o'leary this one is one that chelsea again really really loves i believe this one is a romance but still has like a more hard-hitting darker aspect to it as well it's about people that share an apartment in england i'm assuming because it's called flat share um and one works nights one works days so they split their time in there and leave notes for each other i believe i do really like this cover um but yeah this one was on there so i picked it up after the woods this one is by kim savage this one is about a girl who escapes a kidnapper. Girls like me don't come back when guys like Donald Jessup take us. Julia knows that she beats the odds. She escaped the kidnapper who hunted her in the woods for two terrifying nights that she can't fully remember. But now one year later, a dead girl turns up in those same woods. The terrible memories resurface. We're gonna say this seems like A, a gorgeous cover, B, like a psychological thriller type of a situation. You guys know I love psychological thrillers. And then I only have one last book. I really did not get that much, guys. This Cruel Design by Emily Suvada. This is the sequel to This Mortal Coil, which I read recently and really enjoyed. So I was hoping to get this in time for me to read during fantasy a -thon. If I can physically pick this up, I will. But I really liked This Mortal Coil. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. It is like a post-apocalyptic zombie-ish scientific thriller. I'm excited to read this. So I didn't want to pick up too much. I just got four books. Then we've got this Amazon box. I have had one gift come already. I will talk to you about. It was these little um, AirPod cases. It's the little buckle and this silicone case. I've been dying to get these and I just haven't bit the bullet and gotten them for me yet. But Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany got them for me for Christmas and I am incredibly grateful because I really want them. Oh, someone knows me. From Aquarius is my mood. Maria, thank you so much. She got me. Outlining your novel, Map Your Way to Success by K.M. Wheeland, who is um, a writer that I've actually had in some of my other books on writing, like quoted, and I'm really excited to get into this one. I think one of my most recent videos, at least one of the 12 days of giveaways, which is now over at this point, was um, more books on writing that I've acquired, and I do want to put these into TBRs for each month in 2020 so I can continue to learn more about writing. Another one of my Labyrinth calendars, so this is my Labyrinth 2020 calendar. This is the third year I'll have one of these, and every year it is the same series of pictures, but like honestly, what are my videos without that in the background? So very excited to have this thank you so much maria she said enjoy the goblin king all year round and i absolutely will you guys know the labyrinth is very much my brand and i love it a whole lot so thank you very much maria i think i might go read chain breaker i feel like wendy higgins is getting me in some kind of way and i i got stuff to do today so i don't need to get all hot and bothered 
and my lady bits. It's spicy. But that's my update for right now, and I'll check in with you guys soon. Monday at 9.30, and I am not making the kind of progress that I wanted to be making. I would have loved to be done a book by now, but I am just not. I got to page 247, so I don't have very much left, and I will say this is racy. I did read a little bit more of Chainbreaker as well by Tara Sim, which I'm still really, really loving. I am on page 308 of that, chapter 26. I should be able to finish all, both of these relatively soon. And then I do have two shorter books. Then I have not reread Winterwood yet. I will admit, a part of me is like, I've already read it. I can engage in the discussions on Twitter without reading it again. But I'm really genuinely curious about what changed between the arc and the finished copy. But I also know that I really didn't enjoy that book the way I wanted to, and I do not want an end of the year slump. It is 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning, and I have read more of Soul and Darkness in audiobook. I have a feeling I can probably knock this out today. I also read more of the Night Country. Last night I got to 22%, and I got home this morning, and I have a book from Book Depository, which I purchased myself. I don't know why I feel the need to buy myself books right before the holidays when I know I'm gonna get books, but like, I had to have them. Can you see what it is? Can you see what it is? I picked up Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I picked up the big floppy paperback. I've heard a lot of people really, really like this. I like Sanderson. I feel like, I think this is YA, so it's not his like adult series. I think it's probably gonna be pretty easy to read. I like his writing style in general, so I don't think this is going to be difficult anyway. I did also get the second book of the series, and I don't remember what that is. But I did get that as well. So that should be coming soon. And then I got a third book from Book Depository that should be coming soon. It's not a Sanderson. Um, so as things come, I'll unbox them just because I can. It is 10.22 on Tuesday night. It is only Tuesday. Holy hell. Um, it is the 17th of December. I know that because it is my sister's birthday. Otherwise, dates kind of elude me. I finished Soul and Darkness by Wendy Higgins, which is an adult Greek myth retelling of Psyche and Cupid and Venus. And it was so much smuttier than I expected it to be. Now, this is not on the same level as a lot of the other smut that I've read in terms of like graphicness and abundance, but it's definitely sexier than I anticipated it being. And I was here for it. I actually really enjoyed it. It was not perfect. There were certain parts of it that I didn't love. But I do think that in terms of the actual myth, it had to work around certain parameters. So I get that. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that I finally got around to it. And I'm glad that it's one that I actually have signed and personalized. Because I enjoy Wendy Higgins. I really enjoyed this book. And it was a standout. Like, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought I would like it, but I thought it would be a lot cheesier than it was. It was actually really cute. So that was a four-star book. Also think that I'm going to be four-starring Chainbreaker by Tara Sim. I just finished this. Um, I finished this like legitimately a minute or two ago. Not as many tabs. Not as much that I connect it with. Really interesting. It's very diverse. The main relationship in this is a male-male one. And then there's also a side character named Daphne. And I'm not exactly sure what her sexuality is. She tends to lean to, to me personally, I read her as very ace. I don't know on page if that's been said, and I haven't looked up interviews with Tara Sim to see what she said. This particular book in Chainbreaker, we split our time and we spend a lot of it in India. We spend a lot of it with Indian culture. We spend a lot of it with a revolution that is taking place and a British Indian divide um, because it is historical. It's, you know, accurate to that time period, apparently. There is a message in the back. Um, apparently, Tara Sim is half Indian. This is a very personal story for her to tell. I didn't connect with it as much as I wanted to. By all means, I didn't dislike this. I really enjoyed it. It just wasn't the five star read for me that Timekeeper was. I am excited to see how I feel about Firestarter, which is the third and final book. I'm gonna move on to another book that I feel like I need to get to for my TBR, and that is Deviate, um, because this is Maddie's favorite series. So she chose Lifelike in her like list of favorite books, but she gave me permission to use book two. So I'm gonna read Deviate. Um, I have an audiobook for Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers. 
and I think that's gonna be my next audiobook read through the rest of the week because I have not read Record of a Spaceborn for you yet and I really do want to finish out that trio of companion novels. I have to go actually read and stop talking to you if I want to get anything done so that's what I'm gonna go do. I did come home to a package. It says there's batteries in this. I don't really know what is in this but I don't think I ordered anything with batteries and I don't think I had anything with batteries on my wish list so I don't know what this is. Senleo rechargeable hand warmer. What? This is a rechargeable hand warmer. Never heard of something like this. This is to keep your hands nice and toasty warm during the crazy winter times in PA. I hope it comes in handy for writing. Amber M, which I'm assuming is Amber McManus. Um, I have never in my life heard of something like this, but I am very intrigued. I'm gonna check it out for sure. And then, oh my gosh. Oh, I loved this book and hope you do too. I got Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel. Uh, the lighting is really bad that direction. So this is one that I know Amber really liked. I put it on my wish list actually because she really loved it. Very excited for this one. Thank you very much, Amber. I love getting other people's favorite books because then I can remember them when I read it. She also got me a man called Ove, and I am very excited about this one. This is another Frederick Bachman book, which I did listen to the audiobook, and it is pronounced Bachman, not Bachman, even though it's spelled Bachman, but he's Swedish, so he can say it however he wants. But Frederick Bachman. Um, and I just really want to read, like, everything by him forever and ever and always, because I'm very, very much in love with his writing style. Ove would want us to buddy read. <laughs> yes, yes, he would. Amber, you the actual best. I'm gonna text you right now. I love you lots. Um, but I'm gonna go read because I'm like actually really in a reading mood and I do know that we have company coming today um, for a little bit of a stay and I don't know how much I'm gonna get done later. So I'm gonna go read now. It is Thursday morning at 9.30. I don't think I checked in yesterday very much at all because there really wasn't very much of an update. I didn't do a ton of reading. I'm hoping to do a little bit more today. So far, I've um, been listening to Record of a Spaceborn Few. I'm on page 73. I've been reading <clears throat> Deviate, which I read after I put lotion on, and now I've got fingerprints all over. And I'm on page 52. So that's a thing. It's going. I haven't read any more of Night Country. I'm going to try to get to all of that. But I have a couple things that I wanted to open for you because I got a book depository order that I ordered and then I think a couple Amazon. But I also wanted to show you that I got a cute little card from Madison, from Madison Mary, from Paperback Princess. Princess of Paperback? I always say it the wrong way. Um, and I'm not going to show you what she wrote, but look at that. She drew me a rhino that wants to be a unicorn. And I can't wait to see her. She will be coming to Philadelphia for ALA and I will be able to see her in January and I cannot wait. I am very, very excited about it. So I'm keeping that card. Um, and then I also got a lovely card from Kayla at Literature Reads, and it is precious. I'm going to show you this one, too. Kitty tree. And she also wrote, like, a really, really sweet message and, like, put a little sticker inside. I really love it. I'm going to keep these. I always keep cards that I get. I'm going to open this one first. This one, I believe I know what it is. I ordered... I have two more things coming from Book Depository, um, but this feels too big to be one of them. So I have a feeling I know what this one is. Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. So this is the sequel to Skyward. I want to read these and then I'll get into Way of Kings and like his other Elantris, like his other series. I do want to read more from him. These are going to look beautiful together. I really like these covers, like so much more than the US ones. So very excited about that. I cut into this and, oh, my partner in crime, I love you to the moon and back. And I hope that you have as much fun with this one as I did. Merry Christmas. I can't believe I get to squeeze you in real life so soon. This one's from Chelsea. I love Chelsea. Chelsea is also going to be at ALA and I cannot wait to see her. I'm very excited about it. Oh, it's the Bromance Book Club. Chelsea has raved about this. I feel like I'm gonna keep this for our uh, February contemporary a -thon, just because I feel like I can honor her with a book and I'm very excited for this one. She raved about it and it kind of, I don't know, something about the cover, something about the premise just kind of flew under the radar for me, but I've been stacking away contemporary romances that she's loved recently and I am certain that I'm going to love it. Like I said, I ordered a couple last minute things for like my father's stocking, for my nieces and nephews, but 
I don't think this is it yet. So let's see if I can see. Yeah, there's books in here. So let's see who this is. This is from Amy. Mm, I love you so much. Amy from Amy Reads is such a gem of a person and she was actually up in this general area over the summer and reached out to me and asked if I could get together and I'm so glad I did her she's got the best hugs we had the best time we're essentially the same person we sat down to talk and it was like catching up with an old friend and like we found out that we had so many similarities I just I love her um it says Merry Christmas Julie I'm so happy to call you my friend and still can't believe we got to hang out this year let's try to make it happen again in 2020 I'm all for that I will road trip we will find a way I hope you enjoy this book. I'm dying to read it too. Love you, girl. Um, and I can see the book. I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, so it is Dig by A.S. King. And this is one that hadn't really been on my radar because I wasn't sure I was going to love it. I think that this one scared me because I was afraid that it was going to be too much like Anna Marie McLemore. McLemore um, because people that seem to love her writing love A.S. King. And I don't like Anna Marie McLemore's writing typically. So I was a little bit nervous about this one. But then I saw person after person after person read this and love this. So I really want to read it. So thank you, Amy, because this is one that I probably would have put off getting myself because I'm a little hesitant on it. If you end up getting this one too, Amy, uh, let me know. Maybe we can buddy read it. That would be really fun. My heart's so warm. All right, I'm going to go read. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I have a shorter break today. I have to go read. Hi guys, it's me, and I'm back with an update for my fantasy-a-thon. Today is Saturday. It's the 21st. I didn't read a ton yesterday. I came home from my break on work, and I filmed, like, a giant video, like a couple giant videos that I still need to do for 12 days of giveaways. I have made no more progress in the night country. I am 23% of the way through that. I want to finish it. I just... Who freaking knows when? This is such a busy time and I feel stressed. I feel like I'm failing. Um, I hate it. I hate everything about it. But I'm almost done. Record of a space born few. Like I have legitimately nothing left. I will be finishing this soon. I'm really, really enjoying it. I love Bucky Chambers writing. It's phenomenal. I kind of just want to go on to, to be taught if fortunate. I am still reading Deviate, but to be completely freaking honest, I like the audiobooks so much more and every time I pick this up I read a couple pages and then I'm just like eh. I also have Labyrinth Coronation Volume 1 and I'm I have like a gift tag from wrapping in here. I'm not very far in. The art style in this is stunning but the writing is chaotic and it's stressing me out. <laughs> Did you ever just like read a graphic novel and it's just it's a stressful it's a stressful graphic novel to read, and the font is not eye-friendly at all. Um, so the art is stunning, but the, the font is giving me problems. And I think I've just got such eye strain from all of my computer work that it's been hard for me to sit down and really focus on that. And I just opened something thinking it was a gift for my niece, and it wasn't. Um, it says, Hi Julie, happy holidays from Lourdes, and Lourdes if you do not know, is the one who gifted me this beautiful graphic novel. And I opened the box and I found Labyrinth Coronation Volume 2. Oh my god, look at Jareth. Look at him. It's focusing on my face more. There. God, he's delicious. Like, I just, I can't, I can't wait to get into this. So, I, look at the back of that. How freaking cool. The artwork really is phenomenal. It's just really, really good. If you're a fan of the Labyrinth, I do really think you're going to like these. I just need to, I need to get through them. So I now have, oh my gosh, look how beautiful they look together. Oh, Lord, that is, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's 10 o'clock now. I've been up for a while. As you can see, I've got my glasses. If you don't mind the mess that is my bedroom. I have one laptop for editing. I have another laptop here for all of my other work. I'm responding to comments. I'm getting giveaway stuff. I've got giveaway winners up on here with their addresses so that I can ship stuff out. Um, I'm surrounded by my books so that I can read when I have a chance. I've got wrapping down there to do. I just am flipping. I'm busy. And this is going to go up on Christmas because tis the season. You're going to see me ranting on Christmas. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> Happy Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas. It is three o'clock on Saturday, and I have finished this. It's the 21st, and I have finished full novel number three. Um, it's five stars. I think that I finally came to terms with the fact that we're not going to get the crew from the first book, and going into that, acknowledging that um, I was able to really fall in love with this story. I didn't connect with the crew as much as I did the first book, but I still definitely felt for them and I liked the topics that were covered. I liked the progression of the characters and their arc and the diversity and it's just beautiful. Her writing is so accessible as it is really, really science-based but still easy to follow and it's just gorgeous writing and I adore the hell out of it. So I'm really happy that I got to this and finished this trilogy. I do want to read the novella but I don't think I'm gonna have time for it in this readathon. So five star read. A four, a four, a five, right? I think I gave Soul and Darkness four stars and then a f a, like I'm doing really good. Doing really good. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to finish up this graphic novel for sure right now before I get back into my official writing again. My favorite of the series is still A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, but each one has its own merits. It's a gorgeous series. If you're into sci-fi and character-driven stories, it's really, really beautiful. And it reminds me a lot of um, the kind of like pacing of like a Bachman book or at least Beartown and Us Against You. Very character driven. You have to care about the characters and if you can't care about the characters, you're not gonna enjoy it because not a ton is happening, but it's gorgeous. Anyway, it is Sunday. It's just shy of 11 o'clock in the morning and I wanted to update you because I did finish Labyrinth Coronation Volume 1. I'm not gonna move on to Volume 2 right now. The art style in this is fantastic. Like actually amazing. And you see glimpses of Sarah and the storyline that we know as well as like almost like an origin story of Jareth and the Goblin King kind of mixed into one which is really really interesting. Um, I'm just not going to continue with it just right this second because I want to try to sneak in to be taught if fortunate by Becky Chambers which is a novella that follows I don't think it's in the Wayfarer series I believe that this one is set on earth. I believe it's probably in the same like Cosmere as her other books but it doesn't follow like any of the same characters or anything. Um, I'm really really interested in it. Today is the 22nd. I have time before the end of the readathon. I'm gonna try to get this one in. Go wrap presents. Prepare for the live show tonight with Maddie. But right now I'm gonna go get some shit done. Just wanted to update you. Finish the graphic novel. So three graphic novels, three full-length novels, six books finished. I'm gonna start number seven. Let's do this. Hi friends, I am here with my sign off for Fantasy-a-thon. Today is Monday and it's only 11 o'clock but I have a very very busy family day so I know I'm not gonna read. I only got a couple pages into To Be Taught a Fortunate which I will continue to read but I just know that I'm not gonna finish anything else today, even that novella. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my reading vlog right now. I had a great time at the live show last night on Maddie's channel. It was a lot of fun. Um, and overall, a really, really good reading week, week and a half, two weeks, <laughs> 10 days. I, I've lost all track of time. But I finished three novels. I finished three graphic novels. I started a novella. I started Deviate, but I just haven't finished it. So all in all, I'm really happy with my reading. I love getting back into fantasy. It's one of my definite goals for 2020 is to continue to read my fantasy books. I had so much fun reading with all of you and engaging on social media. Your Instagram posts have been great. This is going up on Christmas Day, so if you're seeing this on Christmas, then Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Um, if you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah, because it's still Hanukkah. And um, I am wishing you all the best for 2020. I will not have new content up until 2020. I'll have all of my best of the year, my end of the year recaps, my stats videos will all be up in early January, but I'm going to take some time off I had a mix up with my giveaways. Somehow clips that I meant to go into like one video ended up in another video. So I did have a bonus giveaway for today, which is officially not 12 days of giveaways anymore, but I had one set aside and then it somehow ended up in my review video, like my one star reviews of five star favorites. It was supposed to be We Hunt the Flames today. It will be US only. So let's head over to Giveaway Julie. 
Hi guys, it is 12 days of giveaway, Julie, back with some more swag and books to give to you guys. I am really excited about today's stuff. Um, I have probably more in this one than any other one, but it's because it's an older title and I wanted to give you a little bit more with this particular one because I feel like you probably have already either read it or maybe you've known about it. Anyway, it's a signed book. You might want it. Let's get into the giveaway. Today we have a Pixie Dust Soap Crystal. It is pretty cute. It does have some glitter in there. I don't know how much of that gets onto you because it's sealed up and I did not open it. I would not open it because it's coming to you. I have a Sorry I'm Booked Swag Pin. Very, very cute. I have this art print that I've been holding onto for so long because I love it and I keep wanting to find somewhere for it and I'm not gonna find somewhere, but I think you guys would love it. It's this really cool whale with like teacups and books balanced all over him. And he's like kind of flying through the stars. I adore him, adore him or her, I don't know. Then I have something that it hurts my heart to give away, but I know I won't use and I want one of you to love it. So I'm including this because it is too gorgeous not to. And it says, by you, I am forever undone by Holly Black. This is a quote from the Queen of Nothing or the Folk of the Air series. Um, it is stunning. This quote is one of my favorite quotes from the entire book and I love it. I just don't have room for a wall hanging and I hope one of you do because it is absolutely gorgeous. The book for this giveaway is Becky Albertalli's The Upside of Unrequited, which I really, really enjoyed. It does follow a plus size main character and it is in the Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens agenda world. This one is an Alcrate book. It does have a signed book plate. It is not exclusive because it's back before that was a thing, but you do get the Holly Black wall hanging. You get um, all the other swag included as well as this signed book. So if you're interested in this giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you have your notifications and your subscriptions public so that I can make sure that you're actually subscribed. Leave me a comment down below with your Twitter, Instagram, email, some way to get in touch to let you know that you won. I appreciate you so much for being a part of my bookish community. Thank you for being you. And uh, back to prior Julie. I'm gonna just wrap up this fantasy-a-thon vlog. Thanks for reading with us. I look forward to the next one. I really enjoy getting back to fantasies. I hope that you found some great new fantasy reads this year. I hope 2020 is a great one for fantasies for you as well. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.